Hey you! Yeah you! Why are you not subscribed to this channel? I see you are not subscribed to this channel. Subscribe! I'm watching you! Now back to the video. Welcome your faces back to the channel. No vlog this week. No vlog last week. Because I was not locals. But it doesn't matter. We got something else for you guys. The European qualifiers are over and Konami said something about a ban list dropping end of August. As you can see, I am already at Konami headquarters because I want to be first in line to get that ban list on my hands, of course. Everybody who went to European qualifiers, I hope you had a great time. So with the European qualifiers finally done, Konami mentioned something about a ban list end of August. And you know what that means? We are doing a Panda ban list prediction. I gathered some few people of Panda to set me a list of what's going to be banned, unbanned, limited or whatever. And we are going to get straight right through it. So we are starting our list off with our very own Stefan. Stefan sent me a small but a actually decent list because it's a very balanced list in my opinion and makes it a tier 0 format we hope less tier 0 as everybody knows the Fiendsmith engine is incredibly broken and is too generic because of one card only and that is of course the moon of the closed sky everybody knows if you can get two bodies on field and make this card you have an automatic full power Fiendsmith combo so that's why Stefan said we need to get rid of this card because it's too generic and it's making Fiendsmith too generic as well, which is highly understandable, of course. Speaking of the Fiendsmith engine, you know what Fiendsmith does best? Shit out level 6s. <laughs> yes, I'm saying it. It makes level 6s way too easy. So what else do are we betting on this list? It's of course Beatrice. Get rid of Beatrice and it should be not that powerful as it should be. Yes, of course, you can still go into hiking Caesar, but you cannot dump anything with Beatrice anymore. Beatrice is already at one, so Stefan is taking. This is going to be the hit for Beatrice to beat all over with. Continuing on this list, we know that we are in tier 0 format, and what's the deck that makes it tier 0? Snake Eyes. So, what did Stefan say? Let's get rid of that original Sinful Spill Snake Eye and just get a hit on Snake Eyes. Just get done with it because it's a tier 0. It's too broken. It does too much. We need to get rid of it. So, get lost of that original Sinfoil Spins. Which is a decent hit in my opinion as well. And I hope Konami actually gets it through because it's a very good card. And Snake Eyes is kind of broken. So let's tile it a little bit down, let's tone it down a little bit and make it a not so less broken deck. What else does Stefan want to be gone as well? It's the Albion, the Sanctifier Dragon. Not only because it's a very good card to be grinding with, but also for the fact it enables the gimmick puppet lock, which we all know nobody likes. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but nobody likes to get gimmick locked. And it's true, it's a fact, so if you're not playing flu and you see this card, it's all over with you. So yeah, let's get rid of the Albion, the Sanctified Dragon, because nobody wants to see gimmick locks anywhere anymore. It's enough, it's over. <laughs> and of course, for every banlist prediction, there is a little bit of copium needed. So we asked Stefan, what do you want back for our copium edition? And he said, you know what, they reprinted this card a few weeks ago. There are different variants and versions of these cards in the OCG and the TCG. And he is talking, of course, about Maxi. Let's get Maxi back to one because we already have the Mulcharmies and the other one in the OCG, which is a better version. So why not bring the original one back as well? Let's make a big pile with Maxis and put them in a straight deck. And yeah, why not? I agree. Let's make it an interesting format and put the card back. I agree with this. Maxi back to one is a good deal to me. Let's go. So in short, for Stefan, he says Moonlink 2 ban, Beatrice ban, Original Sinful Spills ban, let's get rid of the Sanctifier, and for the Copium Edition, let's bring back the Max C. Our next one on the list is our very own Rutger. Rutger had a smaller list than Stefan, but the bans are actually very good. Maybe one of these things will happen. So without further ado, let's get right into Rutger's list. First off, he starts off by banning the Snake Eyes Ash. 
because we know Snake Eyes is very broken this format. So we need to get it, give it the hit. Rutger set, Lashes ban the Snake Eye Ash and give it a good hit, which I can understand. It's a very good hit as well. Next up, because the Fiendsmith engine is out, people can very easily put four bodies on the field without any problems or whatsoever. So what do you ban with this card? You ban the Appaloosa because it's a generic Link 4, which almost with every Snake Eye engine can be made, which is actually insane. So yeah, it needs to be gone. I think I can understand that for saying this, that Appaloosa is getting banned because it's too generic and we already got rid of Borrow Load Savage and Baron the Fleur. So the next one on the list should be, of course, the Appaloosa, which is highly understandable. Next up on the ban list for Rutger is either also the Beatrice for Rutger because let's be honest the Fiendsmith engine and Beatrice the combination is like insane the, the, the synergy is like so of course yes the Beatrice needs to be banned or let's get rid of the Fable Lurie he says we you know why because the Fable Lurie is also the starter for the Fiendsmith engine it's a one card combo if you can get it on the field, which is highly insane. So Rutger said, yeah, we need to get rid of this card because it's a one card combo and we don't want this to be that broken. So let's get rid of the Fable Lurry. Next up, unfortunately no copium for Rutger, but he said one thing and he said, you know what we need to limit? Because every floodgate is already at one or banned. We need to limit the skill drain as well. Like, I can see why every stun deck is running three skill drains at the moment because it's a three. The card needs to get at one because every other floodgate is at one, he says. So, I can understand this. Do I agree? Do I agree? Not totally, but because I'm a twat as well and I like to play some floodgates, so don't blame me. I mean, flu player, what do you expect? So, Rutger's Penis gets killed into one. I think, nah, let's get every floodgate back to three. Let's get the, ri the rifle into three, goes into three, summon limit to three. Every floodgate needs to be back, in my opinion. Let's bring back the floodgates, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring them back. <laughs> That's it for Rutger's list as well. Snake Eyes ban, Appa ban, Beatrice, or the Fabled Lurry ban, and bring back the skill drain to one bring it down all the way to one next up on the list we have our very own tom and this mother actually sent me an entire fucking list with the things he was banned limit semi and even unlimited like if i could show you the screen right now it's like such a fucking list with with cards he wants to be unbanned it's like insane or whatever but you know for the content we're doing this tom you're a dickhead but i still love you it doesn't matter let's get right into tom's big ass list of course and what he wants banned limited semi-limited and unlimited starting off with tom's list he wants the beatrice banned just like rutger and stefan beatrice too broken let's get rid of it understandable Appaloosa also gone he says let's get rid of Appaloosa it's nope it's not working get rid of it also the sanctifier he wants gone with like Stefan said get rid of sanctifier as well but for a change he said let's get rid of snake eyes oak or flambridge that's an interesting take let me know in the comment section what you think about this particular take of Tom by banning the snake eyes or either the flambridge instead of the Snake Eyes Ash of the original Sinful Span. Next up on the list, Tom wants the Hot Red Dragon Archfeed King Calamity gone because when this card is synchro summoned, you cannot activate any effects for the rest of this turn on the field, which makes it like insanely broken. And I can totally understand why he says like, nah, we need to get rid of this. It's not good. It's not healthy for the game. So let's ban this which is highly understandable. That's it for Tom's bands. Beatrice, Sanctifier, Snake Eyes Oak, or Flamberge, and the King Calamities. Going to the limits, Tom says, let's start off with hitting a different deck than Snake Eyes. He says, let's put Sangin Summoning to one, the Tempai Field Spell, because Tempai is actually not bad, and I think it made it to finals as well in the European qualifiers against Ritual Beast. So yeah, let's put the 
Sengen summoning to one and let's give him the field spell a hit. Which is a nice hit, I think, and very, very reasonable to be honest. Yeah, I think it's a good hit for Tampai, of course. Next up on the list, Tom says, let's put Wanted of the Sinful Spoils on the list because Snake Eyes be broken, be very broken. So let's put this card to one. Understandable, I can see. Next up on Tom's list, it's an, actually an odd one. And he says, you know what? Let's bring the Perfuma Paul plush fire back to one with an errata making it hard once per turn. Seems kind of interesting to me. I think we can do that. Speaking of very odd limits, he said, you know, plush fire is fine to one. You know what else is fine to one? Let's put Zodiac Dryden to one. I mean, sure, I guess. Why not? I think it's, it is a little bit power crap, so I think it should be fine at one. So yeah, I think Zodiac can, can come back at one. I never played that format, but seeing like Orca's full power return and, and everything else, I think Zodiac should be fine as well, to be honest. Another one, he says, is, you know, we have Harpy's Feather Duster, we have Raigekis, we have Dark Holes, we have everything, but we don't have Heavy Storm. Let's get the Heavy Storm back to one, why not? I mean, fair enough, I guess. We also have uh, Lightning Storm at two, so Heavy Storm back at one should be fine, in my opinion. So yeah, Heavy Storm is a nice one. And for the last limit, he actually says, you know what else should get to one? Branded Fusion. Shout out to our Raul, of course. But Tom says, yeah, Branded Fusion, it's, I mean, let's be honest, even though the deck's a few years old, it keeps still topping some events and still like doing actually very great. So I can understand it's not a tier zero deck or a tier one deck, but it's still like a very powerful deck in my opinion. So Branded Fusion to one should be an okay hit. If actually Snake Eyes or every other better deck gets like a significant harder hit in my opinion. But yeah, Branded Fusion to one is a good hit as well. So that's the limit list for Tom. You guys thought we were done. No, 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 no. There is also a semi for him. And I don't know what this guy is smoking or what he's been using, but damn, this guy, like, he said, like, Semi, I've got some good, good stuff for you guys. He wants <laughs> Tailament Merly to two. He wants Tailament Halfness to two. And he wants Tailament Shiren to two. Also, with every Dragon Ruler there is. All back to two. I don't know what this guy's been smoking, but <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a good idea. We we're already in a tier zero format and bringing these cards back to two, I mean, it's going to be, I think it will be actually insane if this happens. I'm not sure. He says like it doesn't do enough, but I'm not sure about that. But who am I, I guess? I don't know. What, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Unlimited coming up. Yes, three actually decent ones to be unlimited and one very big coping one. He wants the Pankatrops Unlimited because Pankatrops doesn't do enough anymore, but it's a very nice going second card. So Pankatrops at three should be nice. If the world shall just justice are because it also doesn't do enough anymore and it's very power crept. So Ip can come back to three, I guess. And the Red Rose Dragon, he wants also back at three. I'm not sure about the Red Rose Dragon to be a three, but I don't think it should do enough to be a three. So. I think it can come back, I'm not sure. And it, same same thing, like, I don't know if it does enough, but I think it could also come back to three because it's power crypt as well. Pankatrops, yeah, it's Pankatrops. It's a very good going second card. And of course, he wants to be at least back at one, at least unlimited. Like, he wants it so, so very much hard, but let's be honest, it's never going to happen. But he says, let's bring the Kid Carlos back to one. <laughs> this guy wants every tier name back to two and a kid Kalos as well because it's not broken enough already tom did you not play ycs dortmund two years ago like honestly when it was full power i think this guy has been smoking some some great stuff when he was thinking about kid Kalos, like genuinely so yeah that's tom's list what is my take on the ban list coming up end of august well i'll be honest i've been some thinking about it and i think like, as, as you can see, everybody on the screen says Beatrice needs to be banned. I can agree. Beatrice, it's time to go. Even though you're at one, your time has come. Only because the Fiendsmith engine is too easy to make and it makes so many level sixes so easily. Uh, the Beatrice needs to be gone. Everybody's going probably to Hiking Caesar or Appaloosa, one of the two, but I can see Appaloosa getting a hit. I'm not sure if it's getting a hit though, but I can see it happening. 
last prediction I said bring back our boy Colossus and they actually did so I was hyped about that so my kind of copium take is going to be please bring back our boy Barry statue of the Stormwinds because from Reese best deck baby let's go and if we're busy at it anyway you know we can bring back the Mystic Mind right let's bring them back to Mystic Mind and let's follow Stefan's footsteps and say you know what yes let's bring this Maxi back I want to see I never played a format with Maxi. I would really like to play a format with Maxi just to see how it goes, how it will be. Are people are going to play Exodia or whatever because they're gonna draw so many cards? I don't know. I wanna see how this goes. I've never played in a Maxi format. So let's bring the Maxi back. I think we can bring the Maxi back. And I think we also should bring back something like, I don't know, maybe Call by the Grave back to three or something because cards like Maxi as well. So yeah, that's my take. Uh, ban the Beatrice, maybe ban the Appaloosa or the Hiking Caesar. Uh, also, Snake Eyes 100% needs to get a hit. Just ban something. I don't know. I don't care what it is. Just ban something in Snake Eyes. Just get rid of it. I don't care. Uh, Maxi to one. Call by the Grave by three. And the Copium takes are, of course, Barry Statue of the Stormwinds and the Mystic Mine. At least back to one. Because we all want to play Mystic Mine again. At least I do. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I see you guys at YCS Lille because we are going to YCS Lille. I'm going, uh, Tom is going, Stefan is going, Pascal is actually going as well. Everybody is going from Team Panda. We will see you there 100%. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys all for watching. I see you on the next one. Take care and peace.